Hey everybody, it's Gunnar Rolla here with my dad in my hometown of London, Ontario. We're gonna go on a little tour in a fully electric vehicle. Chevrolet invited me to test out their all-electric Equinox EV with an estimated range of 513 kilometers on a full charge. I've been thinking of switching to an EV for some time, so this was a great chance to get some hands-on experience. The Equinox EV is a high-tech vehicle that's still easy and fun to drive. The main control center is this 17.7-inch touchscreen with Google built-in. But things like climate control are still accessible through physical buttons, so you can get to them easily. We went for a ride-along with Andrew, our Chevrolet really expert. All right. Wow, it's so silent. Something is vibrating on my butt and I don't know, is that me or is that the chair? The Equinox EV features a range of safety features from lane assist to automatic emergency braking and there's even seat vibration pulses to alert you of obstacles and potential crashes. But the most impressive feature? This car can drive by itself. Sort of. Are you how, sure? How cool is that? Stay tuned to see what I mean. It's a very smooth and silent drive. If you've driven a crossover SUV before, the Equinox EV offers a pretty similar experience with some impressive features. I got to test them out with my dad in my hometown of London, Ontario. We're starting out at the iconic Springbank Park, which features 30 kilometers of trails and stretches along London, Ontario's Thames River. This is a great place to test out the automatic parking assist. Using its sensors and cameras, the car can locate open spots and essentially park for you. I found that it works best with parallel parking, which is where I need the most help, so this was a welcome feature. Next, it's time to fuel up. We're headed to the Black Walnut Bakery Cafe downtown. To get there, we're using the built-in Google Maps navigation, which means that yes, you can even speak to it. Hey Google, navigate to Black Walnut Cafe. One of the main concerns I've had when adopting an electric vehicle is knowing whether or not I have enough charge to get to where I want to go. Thankfully, the built-in navigation will tell you your remaining estimated battery upon arrival at your destination. Of course, this can be affected by things like traffic and road conditions, but with regenerative braking, it's possible to recharge the battery while you drive. In my experience, the estimation has either been spot on or very close, so I'm confident that I can get to where I need to go without running out of battery along the way. When you do need to charge, there's a growing network of chargers available and Chevrolet now has access to Tesla's superchargers. The car's navigation will show you where to find available chargers. They come in different speeds and may require an adapter, but the process is generally the same. Plug in and keep track of payment and charge levels with an app. Luckily, with a fast charger, Chevrolet claims that you can add over 100 kilometers of range in as little as 10 minutes. This is probably the biggest adjustment when it comes to electric vehicles, but it's a positive one. You have to plan in advance. No more waiting until the gas light comes on. We are getting on the highway to test out one of the coolest features of the Equinox EV, Super Cruise. It's not quite an autopilot feature that will take you from point A to point B, but think of it as next level cruise control. Using its sensors, cameras, and the built-in navigation, Super Cruise can take control of the car to ensure that you stay in your lane and away from other obstacles, hands-free. The green light on the wheel lets you know when it's active and you can always regain control of the car at any point. Overall, I had a great experience with the Chevrolet Equinox EV. There wasn't a huge learning curve to driving it, despite all of the high-tech features available. You'll barely notice that you're driving an EV. My favorite feature is definitely Super Cruise. I do a lot of drives between Toronto and London, and Super Cruise is great for taking the edge off of those longer commutes. I'm saving on gas, and it's great knowing that I'm doing my part to minimize the environmental impact of these drives. When you consider all of the safety features, economic savings over time, and the fact that it starts at $48,199 before government rebates as well as taxes and mandatory fees, the Chevrolet Equinox EV is a fully electric vehicle that I'd seriously consider purchasing. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more. À la prochaine.